Hello, Robbie Wong here. We're going to play some historic best of three against Giratina. We're playing a mono white soul siblings deck. One, two, three. We'll take it. <laughs> Tale as old as time. I think you take Heliod. Opponents definitely taking their time. There's no words. No no flavor text. Really? Okay. Well, we'll just trot this out here and see what happens. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Ah, let's just run this out here. This could be Mardu Death Shadow. Like there's black red. There's black white. Um, Danto Vanguard. Thoughtseize lets you lower your life total pretty quick. Nothing says Death Shadow like that. Oh, feed the swarm. Almost play a Death Shadow now. Alright. Um, I think we need to save this for a Death Shadow. Play Heliod. And maybe we can a Johnny next turn, make a cat token. Three. Four. So we're like two turns and one more card off of making this a five five. Although Soul Scar Mage plus removal spells or damage spells. That's a, a fine pairing for them. Bowmat Courier. What wonderfully juicy details. Interesting. Well, we have some choices here. We can a Johnny make a 2-2, two, two, and then this is at 3. And then we had keep Skyclave for Luris. I'm not sure we can keep you alive, a Johnny, but here we go. Our true strength lies in our Skyclave, Skyclave activates Heliod, so... Take three, Death Shadow. Double Death Shadow. Land drop, please. Yes. Okay, so this, this activates a lot because now we can Skyclave, take a Death Shadow, Baffling and take another Death Shadow, and then eventually uh, work our way to Kabira Takedown. Uh, we don't have anything that gains life currently, but... Sky Skyclave lines up well. 
And all these exile effects also. Uh, this works. This works. Uh, if we gain life, this becomes a 3-3. Three, three. It kind of pairs well with... Alright, let's... I'm, I'm convinced. Getting that, getting that over the hump seems good too. Um, I think I hold this back. Uh, I, I, I don't want to lose the Ajani, and I, I think the longer this game goes on, the better it goes for us. We have castle activations, we have Ajani, we have Heliod. to five. Wow. But nothing in there. They can pop this to draw a card. But we'll, we'll, we'll get to get to take out the Luris and then start crashing through with our our bigger things. Because now, now they have to block the Heliod. Them being at five. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Don't even wait for the block. Oh, right, they can bring it back with. Okay, that's sweet. Sweet tech. Skyclave lines up real well, because then they get to, uh, they get to, if they kill this, they only get a 1-1 one, one back. Let's see, do I want life? I think I do. Bumping everything up past, oh wait, no, they don't have Frostbite right now. Friendship. Do two lethal threats, hopefully. And then let's go ahead and take this down. I mean, they could have two removal spell. Nah, even that, we'll have, we're left over with two creatures. Oh, what am I? Oh wait, no, no, they can they can block. All right, double block. And now with life's bounty in play, they have to play two different colored creatures. can gain life. Oh, we should have given this life link, huh? Ah, uh, no, we'll keep a protection. Not, not with, not completely without reason. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. And they can replay this. Three, four, five. Uh, but I do get to pump this up. But if they if they don't play this, that kind of says this is a removal spell. Okay. Sweet. All right, Death Shadow. We have lots of cards for you. Baffling in that. I I don't like to put rest in peace. Just I mean I guess it's Agadim's Awakening and. This can blow up Bomat Courier. Go either 
away on that. Yeah, our, our removal suite lines up really well. Well, not really well. The Kabira's takedowns are pretty ho-hum against Death Shadow. But the Skyclave Apparition works really well. The Dinosaur one works out really well. All right. We have a game. We sure are. <laughs> Come on, Gira. Got a game. Well, this hand's kind of blah. It's like one land too many. Yes. Okay, much better. We'll throw back the Legion's Landing. Are we? Yeah, we'll throw back the Legion's Landing. I like the Soul Warden better. I mean, we don't really have three... Cre Legion's Landing plays a lot better if there's if you can get three one-drops on two. Bolted. <laughs> Bolt, Thoughtseize. Fetch, Shock, Thoughtseize. Take five. All right. Well, now, well, now this hand looks a lot like the first hand. So, I want my. Okay. All right. Nobody has a board. Well, we have enough lands in hand to activate castle. So. No more lands, though. No more lands. Not shocking. Okay, so no, no Death Shadow in hand. Seems good for us. <laughs> Just draws the Luris. They, they know about our battling end. Okay, again. Alright. So they're going to try and push the issue... We're at 20 though, turn turn five, still at 20. Oh. Yeah, that's probably a good enough reason to, to throw Baffling in. Okay, I, I, didn't think about this. I was so stuck on Agadim's Awakening. Goodbye, Baffling End. Well, maybe we can get them to blow this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where, where has this been? These are these guys. Dead dead creatures walking. Oh, 
in the hand. Okay, let's uh, gain a life. Take uh, three, one, four, go to fourteen. Yeah, and then them burning removal spells on on token seems great. Yeah. Yeah. The the turn we didn't play baffling in was pretty big. So with that, without dreadhorde arcanus, they can't uh, can't keep up this chain of events. So many removal spells. Kill this. They have. Nah, let's just do it now. It worked. I'm. Well, they can play this now and bring that back. So that that was probably kind of preemptive. Too soon. Too soon. Because now we're empty-handed, they can guarantee value off of Valorus. <laughs> All right. Daxos. Okay, yeah, so they can... Oof. Alright. <laughs> we've, work we've worked through their graveyard. At least Dreadward Arcanus power is just one. It's not nothing. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and take five, go to four. And then maybe I can get a second creature up to double block Lurus next turn. Quite get going this going fast enough, huh? Oh. Maybe they'll cast some creatures pre combat. Given how that game went. Pay, <clears throat> pay better attention to whether it's whether they're trying to eat out of their graveyard for creatures or spells. 
because they can do both. Yeah. We'll play takedown first to guarantee we'll get our stuff out. We have three lands for sure. Something like this. Alright, so now we're pretty Thoughtseize proof. We have Redundancy. That makes me really want to play the Heliod first. <clears throat> Thoughtseize? Dreadful Arcanus. Okay. They can play and... They play removal. Well... Double spell us, they double spell us. We'll be able to, through hand disruption, take out their next three plays even with a Thought Seize. I guess with the Thought Seize, they take two. But get, getting in for seven next turn sounds exciting. Oh, man. Always, always punished. Three out of shock range. You know, for that reason, I think I'm not going to block. Just because I, I'm swinging for seven next turn is really exciting. If they don't have shock, it's fine. You got me. Woof. I mean, we still get to punch, but... Let's... Let's get you out of shock range, or we can deal eight, put them to five. Let's get them out of shock range. Next turn, we can Devout Decree, give Skyclave, Lifelink. Tough spot. Worth noting, if I had Skyclaved instead of Heliod, they wouldn't be, they'd be much higher in life, but then they wouldn't have been able to pull so many Thought Seizes. So, they would have taken one of our removal spells instead of two. So we'd have an extra one. We'd have an extra removal spell and they'd be at 11. Gosh, I hope one of these is a shock. Mm. Feed the sword. Going, going to three. Well, that's uh, a little worse for our Alciots, for the protection play. We are also shy devotion. What is this? Converted mana cost two? Oh, well, sky, sky Cliff sounds great. They have to block. We get to go up to 24, yeah. And then whatever they, whatever they play, we get to remove, so. Sounds good.
Removal spell could. Another Death Shadow. Well, at least we can make one ones. And we if we draw one Maul of the Skyclaves, we're going to be in the clear. Kabira's Takedown. Probably not going to do it. <coughs> Have a way to give it plus one, plus one. We're going to take this hit because if we, again, if we draw Maul and they don't have removal, then our 1-1 one, one token gets to fly over. We are four away from Devotion, so we're pretty far away from that, unfortunately. Just draws Luris. That is not what we were looking for. Okay, so uh, actually we should think about this because if we if we take down this attack and give this life blink, then they're going to go to two. That's going to be eleven. So they'll swing. Luris is coming, but there's nothing for it to bring back. All right. I got a lethal threat. I survive at four. I'm dead to a couple of shocks. But they also can't really make this bigger. Like, they can't shock themselves. You got a fatal push? Dang it. Oh, that hurts. It stings all of the things. Goes to four. kidding me well we're not dead but we're very much not alive either got a removal spell they do they're gonna shock it yeah. all right i'm robbie wong thanks for watching Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we will catch you guys on the next one.